A tri-state man already in prison for making terrorist threats is now facing federal hate crime charges. He is accused in a plot to commit a mass shooting targeting young women at a university in Ohio. Morella Porter is here with the disturbing details. Paula, the federal indictment shows this guy had allegedly been planning his attack for more than a year and wanted to kill 3,000 people. Investigators say he's part of a group that advocates for violence against women. They call themselves incels or involuntary celibates. Tonight I spoke to an incel extremist expert who tells me this is a movement being blamed for a number of mass shootings across the country. 21-year-old Trace Genko allegedly plotted to kill hundreds of women at a university in Ohio. The Highland County man was already serving a 17-month sentence for making a terrorist threat in a state prison when he was arrested by federal agents today. Investigators allege Genko posted regularly to an online group devoted to the incel movement. The ideology is really rooted in the belief that women have too much power in the sexual marketplace and that their rejection of men, or namely incels, is both life altering or life ruining, which leads to a lot of vitriolic hate towards women. This federal indictment alleges Genko took steps to follow Elliot Roger, who in May of 2014 killed six people and injured 14 others. Some of his victims shot near a college campus in Santa Barbara, California, before killing himself. Genko allegedly spent more than a year planning his attack. He's accused of penning a frightening manifesto, saying he would slaughter women out of hatred, jealousy, and revenge. In one note, investigators say Genko wrote of having a kill count of 3,000, even referencing the same date as Roger's attack. Upwards of hundreds of thousands of individuals who post on these forums and engage in these conversations, but as a phenomena, it is new. Um, and there has been increased attention on it, given the fact that there have been multiple instances of mass casualty events that have come from this online manosphere and community. Now, investigators say before his arrest, Ganko went to a university campus to conduct surveillance, but the indictment doesn't specify which university. It also alleges that Ganko even went to Army basic training to help him carry out his plan. He was discharged for poor performance and conduct. In the studio, Morella Porter, Local 12 News. Morella, thank you. And by the way, thank you and welcome to our news crew. Genko was arrested by Highland County Sheriff deputies in March of 2020. They found a machine gun, more weapons, loaded magazines and other tactical gear.